Mike Mangini says that the Dream Theater audition went well, but there was another audition for one of Rock's best vocalists that he thought, in hindsight, wasn't so great. Mangini wanted the Dream Theater job in the worst way, and he used some of the old school teaching to help him get the job. He has been clocked as one of the fastest drummers, but it was his bond with DT's members that made him feel at home. He talked about his relentless preparation. I have the fear of God in me. I really do. I've been given some gifts. I, I don't want to fall short of those, so I work really hard. And I always think somebody else is working a lot harder than me because I know as a teacher, talent gets you to a point, but then you have to work. So, you know, and, and my old teach, my drum teacher used to say it. He's like, you know, I don't care who you are, who you think you are, whatever. The guy that plays each song 300 times, he gets the job. So it was very humbling uh, being brought up like with with that in me from age, you know, 10 to 18. So I approached it the same way I have done everything. Just everybody else has a little bit more than me, and, and these guys are going to work harder than me, so I just have to get up at 5.30 in the morning and do everything I can do. Mangini got one of his first big breaks playing drums for former Journey singer Steve Perry, and the drummer extraordinaire told us he was nervous. That was the worst bit of nervous tension, making all kinds of mistakes and just breaking everything that I ever had happen. Now, I'm exaggerating a bit. It wasn't that bad because he wouldn't have had me back the following days to record. But I had a, my very first drum clinic the same day I had the recording session with Steve Perry. And I was out of my mind. I, I, I honestly, I couldn't even keep my place counting like three or four bars. Uh, my head was spinning. I was sitting there listening to the greatest rock voice I had ever heard in my life in my headphones, and there he is. I'm like, oh my gosh, Steve Perry's there, and his, oh, his voice is so good. And there I am trying to, oh my gosh, what bar am I in? I, I couldn't manage it, and then I had to go for a drum clinic. Mike Mangini was already familiar with vocalist James Labrie of Dream Theater. He played with him in his side band Mole Muzzler and James's solo album, Elements of Persuasion.